What is going on, guys? I am your Digi Daddy, Salty Joe here, and I have the spiciest Eismon Rush. So let's get straight into it. We'll start off with babies, and we are running four Demi Merimon and one Sunomon. You don't necessarily need the Sunomon, but I do like the effect of triggering draw one for our top end stuff. The Demi Merimon is needed for our main engine. So we draw one, discard one. We want to discard that Eismon to get the scatter mode effect. And let's start off with our rookies here. We're running four Gabumon, three starter deck Gabumon, four Labramon, three Gazimon, three Goblinmon, and four Candlemon. We want to take advantage of drawing and dropping, so these two Gabumons help us out there. Trigger draw two, drop one. So you want to see your Eismon as soon as possible when you're attacking with scatter mode, just so you can get it back on the field. Same with Gabumon. Labramon does the same thing, except on play, draw one, drop one. Gazimon is out there against blue hybrids to stop the memory gain. Goblinmon is for our high end card. We'll talk about them that in a little bit and four vanillas just for their rookie rush aspect for our champions obviously running four eismon scatter mode four regular eismon three genkaku promote and three ogremon so our main engine here is to digivolve into scatter mode as fast as possible so we can keep drawing cards hopefully you have that rookie gobamon with a heritable draw two drop one because we want to get eismon on the field as fast as possible genkaku promote is to evolve on top of eismon Mon in late game so you could get a quick game win. Ogremon here is my spicy tech that goes with Goblinmon. So you typically want to have this Ogremon on top of this Goblinmon. It's okay if it's not, but when you trash a card, you're gaining plus 2k. So that security attack plus one is a lot more lethal at 7k. We are only running one level five, and that's one Skull Greymon. It's nice to give something retaliation when you're tossing it, if you have it in your hand. We're not running any level six because this is a Rookie Rush-esque deck. We are only running one Tamer, and that's a Matashita for the Memory Tamer aspect. Also to grab one card from the discard to add it back to your hand. And for our option cards, we are running quite a few. So we have two Jack Reads for the Memory aspect. Your drop is going to be filled pretty fast with Scatter Mode and all the inheritable effects three demonic disasters so when we swing and if we have another rookie on the field that swings and happens to live you can just delete it restand and swing again death claw or board removal you never know when you need to pop a pesky blocker on the field you can also kill your scatter mode with this to go into eismon potentially go for a win turn with genkaku promote if you have it in hand calling from the darkness delete a card grab two cards we have cards to make sure our scatter mode dies because a lot of the time the scatter mode somehow lives <laughs> at just a measly 4k because this meta is kind of weird and rookie heavy we are also running four underworld calls not only to go for a game with a game copy promote but we can discard this from our hand to draw a card to Try to dig for more Eismon. And lastly, one fly bullet just for spot removal. So thank you guys for watching my video. I will link a video in the top right corner of the gameplay where you can watch this deck in action. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends. And that's it. I have been your Digi Daddy. Thanks for watching.